your time for the fulfillment of purpose. It's your time for abundance and prosperity. Because with God, all things are possible. Join Pastor Lekon Wellington Adegua, a dynamic preacher and teacher of the Word of God, as a ministers with clarity and power. Pastor Lekon is a coach, an international conference speaker, who teaches that God wants us blessed and prosperous in every area of our lives. 10 a.m. every Sunday, TRM Church Preston, 213-217 Lancaster Road, North Preston, PR12 PY. 2 p.m. every Sunday, TRM Church, Manchester, Emmanuel Center, 174 Langworthy Road, Southwood, Manchester, M65 PN. At TRM Church, we are committed to your fulfillment in life. We are expecting you. There is no comfort in this world than the comfort of eternal life. They can always have the privilege to offer people when there are difficulties. It's the truth. So see it like that. You know, uh, I tell you, when things are bad, it's very easy to preach. How many people know that? And they can always tell somebody, oh, it is well. You can trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's opportunity. So you see, opportunity. God knows what he's doing. God is faithful. God is not wicked. God is holy. God is beautiful. And God will perfect his will and his desires in our lives. 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 You know, you cannot keep birds from flying in the sky. But you can sure keep them from perching on your head. Praise the Lord. Keep your head. Keep your head. Keep your head. We, he that dwell in the secret place of the Most, I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Keep your head. Keep your head. Keep your head. Stay with God. These are not the days of fence Christianity. These are not the days of one leg in, one leg out. These are not the days of try and error. These are not the days to see whether it will work. These are the days of complete conviction in your heart that if Baal is God, save him. But if God Almighty is God, save him. These are the days where you know that if you close your eyes and you are dead suddenly, at least you know you will be in heaven. These are the days of guarantee. You must know what you are doing. These are not the days of game playing. These are serious times where decisions must be clear cut. You should know whom you have believed. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's the confidence. That should be your confidence. That should be your assurance. That should be your strength. I tell you the truth and I lie not. We are people of grace. You should submit fully to that grace. You should submit fully to it. You should submit fully to it. These are not the days of game playing. This is not Scrabble or Monopoly. This is life. And I want to encourage us. That is the time where you want to serve God, serve God with all of your heart. Listen to this. The old heart can pass away. It will pass away, but the word of God will not pass. You need to understand at this time. Make decisions. You want to serve God, serve God. Everything you are running after can collapse tomorrow. That's not to say that the world will even come to an end. Do you know that if people are saying the world will not come to an end, but what do you forget? It can come to an end for somebody any moment. For one person. This is, listen to this. You will not die but live to declare the works of God. But that's exactly what I'm saying. That the purpose of living is the declaration of the works of God. So make up your mind. Stand your ground. Listen to this. If it is worth saving God, save God. Do you understand what I'm talking about? If you, want to save, if, if, it's, if you believe God is worth saving, then save him. If you are still doubting, I pray that the Lord will make it clear unto you. Amen. But if you are not doubting again, you know that it is worth saving God. Then do it. Do it. Do it with your spirit, soul, and body. Do it with your time. Do it with your intelligence. Do it with your pocket. Do it with your money. Do it with your energy. Do it with your smartness. Do it with your profession. Do it with your career. Do it with your family. Do it with everything you have. Save him. Don't wait for anybody to push you. If you can sink, my God, sink and save him. Whatever, listen to this. The day yesterday is gone. Whether you like it or not, days are moving, times are going. And oftentimes it's as if we forget. We forget. Listen to this. <laughs> Listen to this. I'm telling you the truth. I don't know what the age you are, you are getting old. Whether you are 10, you are getting old. How much more? You are 25, you are getting really old. You are 45, you are still warming up. Jesus Christ finished his ministry at 33 and a half.
Listen to this. You are privileged at such a time like this to be enlisted in the, in the, in the employment of God to serve him. Any other employer you have, as I was saying them on Friday, can be sacked by God. The only person that cannot be sacked is God. The Lord help us. Amen. Let me tell you why I'm saying all this. It is important for you to be convinced within yourself about the things that matters in life. It is important. There are things that don't matter. There are things that are mundane. They are here. You know? Like, for instance, whether the devil likes it or not, I will buy a Ferrari. Amen. But it's useless. It's mundane. It's, it's, it's useless. Whether the devil loves or not, you will succeed. You will buy your house. You will finish paying mortgage. After that, what? For if a man gains the own word and loses his soul, what profit? If a man lives for 120 years and is the richest man in the world, only to die and in eternity, he is not just poor. He is in the company of Satan. Would he rather not be poor for 120 years and be rich for eternity? The difference between the rich man and Lazarus in the Bible. For one was rich on earth and poor unto eternity. And one was only poor for some time, but was rich unto all eternity. Because when you understand things like this, you will put life in perspective. Listen to this. The, the one that will live longest among us. I know some of you want to become a two-seller. I don't, I don't want to be 120 years old before I die. What are you doing? You should have finished what you are doing. But I know some of you want to be 150. Be 150. In fact, be 200. After you are 200 years old, 200 is, is, is an insignificant number. You have, you, you, some of you in maths, you know what's called insignificant number. <laughs> it's an insignificant number when you match it with infinity. In fact, any number matched with infinity is insignificant. Simple mathematics. Any number beside infinity tends towards zero. Just teaching you a bit of maths. It's zero. So even if you live 200, which you cannot live 200. Hello? Because you will become a you become problem for your children. What, do you, what are you doing? 200? No. I don't need 200. But what we are saying is, even if you were 200, would you compare that to eternity? What are you running after? What is, what is the big deal about what you are doing? That is, yeah, 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 busy. Which busy are you busy? I have seen in life that the race is not to the swift, the battle is not to the world. Time and chance happens to them all. And what I'm telling you today is so dear. I, in my few life, and many of you have seen it, I have seen things that surprises me. I've seen things that surprise me. A few years ago, one of my friends, the husband, just fell down and died. And then I'm thinking, ah, ah, why would somebody like that? You know, because we believe that somebody must be fit, he's very fit, he plays football like twice or thrice every week. He is fit, jogs every day of his life. He is so fit. Completely healthy young man. He's not a footballer. An expatriate in one of these Eastern uh, Middle, Middle East. Doing extremely too well. But went to play football one Wednesday. And fell down and died. They brought his dead person to Nigeria. The story is the end there. But I won't go into all that. Fit. Some of you think you are fit. You are eating healthy. You can't be dieting and die tomorrow. Forget those things. Let anybody deceive you. Because we, this world is running us mad. Am I saying don't die? You can't diet and die tomorrow. Forget it. L listen, have you not seen it before? Learn to understand what matters in life. That's what I'm saying. So that no matter where you are, you are happy. You are happy. You are glad. The things that matters in life doesn't make people sad. The things that don't matter make people sad. I repeat, you see, the things that make you sad are things that don't matter. Because the things that really matter in life don't make people sad. Instead, they make you trust God and depend on God. Because a lot of people who are this sad, 
they are sad fundamentally because they don't have money. If I put all your problems together in life, I guarantee you 99.9% .9 has to do with money. Every problem put together, there's a connection with money in it, or sustain us, or to live well. That's it. That's why people are running from pillar to post, trying to make two ends meet and break themselves in the process. Just tell your friend, you can't make two ends meet. Only God can make two ends meet. Praise the Lord. This one life you have, enjoy it. That's what I'm trying to say. There are things that matters. You have them. Look at somebody and say, I have what matters. Teach me, Lord, to appreciate it. I have life. Lord, teach me to appreciate it. I have the life of God. Lord, teach me to appreciate that. I have, I have, I have the grace of God. Teach me to appreciate that. I am God's child. Teach me to appreciate that. 